Hi everyone, welcome along to another episode of the Celtic View podcast. I'm Ryan Marr and we've got a very exciting podcast this week because we're going to be focusing on all things women's team and we have two of the stars of the team alongside us to, to go through this this week's episode. We've got, first of all, Lucy Ashford Clifford. How are you, Lucy? You well? I'm amazing. How are you? You're amazing. Yeah. Brilliant. I, I love that attitude. And we've also got uh, Rachel Johnson. Rachel, are you, are you excited for the, to be in the episode? Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, we've got we've got lots and lots to, to discuss. We're going to look at this season so far. Rachel, we'll, we'll talk about last season's cup success as well. We, we can't have you on without talking about that as well. Uh, Lucy, you also put the teammates, your teammates under some quick fire random questions as well. So we'll have a look at that later on as, as well. And uh, and Rachel, you, you were the first guest in our, our My Game, My Word series. So we've got lots and lots to, to get into. Um, first of all, Lucy, you timed your appearance in this absolutely perfectly because we need to look at the game against Aberdeen on Sunday, a 3-0 win, and you got a goal. It was a part of you just thinking, I'm coming this podcast and you get a goal too before I come on. Yeah. I too. It's <laughs> the only way I can do it. To be honest, I don't know if it was that good of a goal. It's just a tap in, so it's just got. To, it's just one of those ones. Yeah. Right place, right time. Talk to us about the the game in general and, and how things went. Obviously, it's a trip up to Aberdeen. Um, seemed to be a lot more, a little bit more of a, a cagey affair, and then eventually we got the goal. We seemed to be quite comfortable. Uh, yeah, I think it was a tough first half. Like obviously, with what happened with Caitlin, was it nice to see for anyone? Um, I think looking back on the pictures that the guy took, like Craig, he's like literally vomiting in her mouth when she's looking at it. <laughs> so that's quite funny. Um, but yeah, I think it took us a bit of time to get into that. Um, but once Kyle got her first goal, I think that's when we pushed on a little bit. Uh, it was a bit colder up there as well, so that was, <laughs> I was sort of to get used to it. Yeah, it's yeah. well nipper. So, yeah. yeah. Um, it- the team at the moment, though, even if you, you know, like Clarissa missed a penalty early on as well, but this moment in this season, the team don't really seem to be phased by anything that's going on in these matches. They seem to be quite consistent. Is that is that fair? Yeah, I think as soon as like Cal missed the shot, like you have to go up to her and say like next one because you know she's going to get another. So it doesn't really matter. It's just if it wasn't that time, it'll be you know, five minutes, ten minutes. But she's always going to get another. So yeah, and Rachel, I mean that continues so far for this season the amazing start to the season so far. I think it's six games and, and six wins in the league. In your perspective, how have things been going? Has it been, been as good as it looks on paper? Um, yeah, I mean, um, I've been out injured for a while, so um, I haven't been on the pitch, but it's amazing to see um, because the atmosphere off the pitch is also great when you're winning um, and the mentality of the girls to take each game as it comes um, and just keep getting the three points. Um, and, you know, we never look too far ahead. Um, to the bigger games but we just take each each game each Sunday um, and yeah but it's, it's a really good start. Yeah what is it about the team at the moment that just seems to keep producing these wins and keeping so many clean sheets as well? The, the team just clicks you know from the first week in pre-season everyone just got on um, on the pitch as well as off the pitch so I think that really does help it's it was the same as last season the team just gelled so quickly um, and I think that's really helped in our favour this year. Because there's quite a lot of change in the summer, Lucy, you've been one of the additions as well. And I think for quite a lot of people from the outside were maybe wondering, you know, we lost Charlie Wellings, who scored 40 goals, we lost a lot of big players and could we replace them so far? So good. Anyway, like, yeah. what's what's the additions been like to the team this summer? Yeah, well, you know, we lost some big players um, from the, with the likes of Charlie, but, you know, Clarissa can do exactly the same, as, if not better. So no one's in doubt um, of losing Charlie and, like, the additions of Lucy... Um, Pamela, Claire, Taylor, like there's Lou, there's a big list of them and every single one of them have been outstanding since they've arrived um, and really making it challenging for Fran to pick a team week in, week out. So I think the signings that we've made have been really good. Yeah, Lucy, what do you think this team can do this season? Do you set yourself targets or what do you do as a team? Uh, I think we know that what, what we want to do. Like We obviously want to win everything that we can. Um, I think we definitely can do it. Uh, we just need to keep kicking on. I mean, we're doing well so far, just... Take one game at a time. And one game at a time, we'll, yeah. Uh, Old we'll cliches, the, bring them yeah, out, mind, don't and you? And then we'll have the trophy at the end, so <laughs> sweet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Compared to last season, Rachel, um, do you feel like the group's in a, a stronger place at the moment, or how do you think things compare? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I, th- I think the team has gelled a lot better this year. Um, I think our squad depth is better as well. Um, you know, when it gets to 60, 70 minutes, you can look to the bench and you can bring on a player just as strong as the player that's starting. 
and you know the people on the bench are itching to get to get some minutes so I think just that in itself um, helps but last season was incredible obviously but I don't think the consistency was there w in the league but I think we've started really strong we've got our clean sheets we've got our three points and it's just about continuing that and kicking on. Yeah we showed in the cup campaign last year that on any given day you can beat any team in, in this division so is that just about keeping that consistency then this season? Yeah you know we can beat any team um, I think our biggest downfall would be our mentality and we know that we can go out and win things this year but the only thing that's going to stop that is our mentality um, and our confidence etc so we just need to make sure that we keep that in check and then just go on and take each game as it comes. Yeah I want to know a little bit more about the dressing room and the kind of the characters in it because Lucy we're going to be hearing your quick fire random questions soon so I thought I'd ask both of you a little bit about your teammates and kind of who the jokers are in the pack, who, who the characters in there. So, who would you say? Who would you say the, the main joker is in that that changing room at the moment? Probably Lou. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. <I> <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't uh, need to be funny. Yeah. Um, I think you and Taylor. What are you, are you doing? Practical jokes or? No, oh, I don't know. I think it's just. I don't know. I don't even know what we're doing half the time. Just being idiots. <laughs> no, it's but I, every, yeah. laughing. Yeah, but Taylor's just like. A uh, laugh is like bellowing, like you can, the whole room is just like shaking. Um, no, I've, everyone has like a good laugh. Like, I think yeah. I could go up to like like Abby Cusack and she's just already laughing. Like you're not even saying anything and she's already laughing. But then everyone's just got their own little. No, oh, it's nice. Everyone's buzzing. So if I say then who the loudest is, is that Taylor, Taylor. Jazz? Oh, depends. It depends what mood Jazz is in. Really, <laughs> it depends if something's gone wrong. She can be definitely pretty loud. But has Taylor just got that kind of. She's American. American positivity, yeah. yeah. Just... I, have to, I have to tell her sometimes, just tone it down. You've been too American now. <laughs> so, yeah. She loves it. Is there a, is there a serious one in the group? So uh, it's just always quite kind of like stern and focused. And... I think Nats. <laughs> I don't know, because if you get her like, on a good day, she does have a little joke. Yeah. yeah. Um... Um, Claire. Oh, I don't, how do you even say Claire's last name? That oh, Irish I Claire. Yeah. Right. She, um, <laughs> she's pretty. <laughs> Yeah. She's serious. Okay. Um, but yeah, she can have a good, good joke. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone can have a joke, really. Mm -hmm. That everyone's. I think everyone's focused and mm -hmm. serious, but you just get a few more jokes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. DJ, who's who's doing the music before games? Um, I'll we'll have a go. Yeah. yeah. Well, Liam, the kit man, puts his his phone on the speaker, and then you kind of just go up and start queuing things. Right. Um, but to be fair, in the gym, Jazz had her music on. Is there any ridiculous? <sighs> She's a little gangster. Yeah, she's a, she's a gangster. She, she's like, <laughs> I'm pimp my ride half the time. Oh, really? so, yeah. she, um, if you don't put a song on that she like doesn't like either, that's like, going like straight off. It's like, what is this? Get it off. And then if you have a go at her music... Oh, you not? just wouldn't. Like, no, we know better. <laughs> we know way better than I do than that. <laughs> <laughs> that's staying on. Brilliant. Well, uh, Lucy, let's get in now to the quick fire and questions that you went in for a, during lunchtime and, and put all your teammates under under the spotlight. How, how did you enjoy it? Did you, yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, some, there's some great answers in there, so <laughs> hopefully you enjoy it. Let's have a look now at Lucy going around doing quick fire at random questions. I don't want to English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Hi, my name's Lucy Ashworth Clifford, and I'm going to be asking my teammates some quick fire random questions. <laughs> Guys, stop avoiding me. Tyree, pick out a question out of the bag and don't be shy. Oh, oh, if you had to swap surnames with a player in the team, who would it be and why? I'd swap surnames with Tegan Bowie. Why? Because it's a kill last <laughs> Um, have you ever been told you look like someone famous and who was it? Surely not. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. Um, I said someone. That's not a famous person. <laughs> she looks Italian. Um, I mean, Shannon and Lou always tell me I, I think it's just because I'm pale and I have dark hair, but I look like Anne Hathaway. Okay. That's that, but that's just probably because I'm pale. Oh, I don't feel like that. You've got a bit of tan, a bit of colour. Been in Australia, it's a place where Canada are. Do you know that? Oh. Well, well. 
Uh, just. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Do you want me to? Do you know it? If you could. Meet. Yeah. <laughs> if you could meet any person, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Patel. Maybe I don't know English. <laughs> What's your most irrational fear? Uh, this could go on two ways. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, um, I don't know spiders. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Why? They're just creepy. No, I can translate. <laughs> So, if there's someone famous who's dead or alive, who would you want to meet in the world? Oh, she did. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> Get this up. What are there more of in the world? Doors or wheels? Perfect. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> what teammate is most likely to be the last one to leave the dance floor? <laughs> Not you. You need to go on a night out to find this, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go Taylor. Uh, that's, um, <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. <laughs> Last one to leave the dance floor. What? Last one to leave the dance floor. I think wheels. Why? Mm. Just cause like cars and stuff. What player in the squad is most likely to grab the microphone first at karaoke? Lucy. <laughs> Fair enough. There's four doors on every car. <laughs> I don't even think about that. I don't know. Wheels. No doors. 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 Because there's five, five, five doors on cars. With houses four wheels. and everything. Five doors? Yeah. Not well, on car. some cars, on some cars. Oh, the back. The boot. The boot. Say how it's that. Like a famous on, person. Um, but I think it's translated is bad. <laughs> Who's someone but famous that you want to meet? A football no, player. Translate is out of here. Yes, or dead, like alive or dead. <laughs> oh, I like I like who? Yeah. Sure. Who do you want to meet? Yeah. Yeah, so far. Yeah. No wheels. Wait. No doors. 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you all right? Final answer. Doors. Doors. Sorry. You can only. <laughs> eat <laughs> you can only eat meals cooked by one teammate for the rest of your life. Who do you want to cook for you? <laughs> now you, you're good at cooking. Oh, there you, you go. Gas you up. There, there we go. Easy. Guys. Shall I do another one? No, they'll no, no, put it back. Oh, okay. Keep it yourself. No, no, no. Messy. Translate. <laughs> See, you should have done this, Shen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> If you could be any animal, what would you be and why? That's a stupid one. That's a uh, great question. Did you get that? <laughs> um, maybe at like a monkey. So you can like. I feel like you're already you are one in the gym anyway. Ah, you just swing about in that. Yeah. Swinging about. Eat bananas. Could be a cheetah with your purse. Ah, no, no. What's your favourite thing about the person in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no, this could be anything. <laughs> um, What's the favourite thing about me? There's, you could give like reel off a few to be fair. Give all? No. Um, she's funny. Oh, I'll give you that. The whole thing, she's funny. What do you want me to say? Cook. Ball. Oh no, she's really good at cooking. Style. No. Yeah. Famous. Who do you like who's famous? Like uh, Messi or Ronaldo? Kyogre. <laughs> 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 I'm Lucy Ashley Clifford and that was teammates quick fire random questions. Uh, there you go, Lucy, I really liked um Lou's Kyogo. That was that was really funny. Any any other ones that you remember that, that kinda of stand out that you enjoyed? I think everyone just clearly didn't want to put their hand in the bag and do it, so everyone having yeah. to do it was good. I like putting them under pressure like that. Rachel, you weren't having much of Lucy's fashion sense during that either. What, what, what are you saying about that? <laughs> um, no, I just, I, f I think sometimes she can look a bit homeless, <laughs> personally. But I don't know, she has good days and bad days. As do we all. <laughs> what are you saying to it, Lucy? What do I say to that? Uh -huh. I mean, she comes shopping with me all the time. 
so I can't be doing that much bad <laughs> stuff. That's for my opinion all the time. Lisa, what are you wearing today, Lisa? <laughs> what should I wear? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> uh, Lucy, just about you signing. I mean, you've not really been at the club too long, obviously, signing in the summer. What was it that, that made you want to come into the door and how have you been finding things in, in general? Yeah, I love it. It's funny and it's just, it's nice. It's uh, going from Lewis, which was like a small, like community based club to Selic, which is just like worldwide and just ridiculously big. Um, it's a big transition, but it's nice. I'm enjoying it. And yeah, I don't know. It's, um, I don't really know what to say. It's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it's like, I'm still in like the phase of like the transition. Yeah, yeah. How do you think your your football's been so far this season? You scored a couple of average. Average yeah. is that? <laughs> no, well, that means it can get better. So yeah, uh, no, it's actually been it's been good. I think I've, the best thing about it and what I've enjoyed is that I've got freedom on the ball mm -hmm. and uh, people like are wanting me to be on the ball and kind of like just do what I want to do, go with the flow. Um, so that's not something that I've had for a long time. So I yeah. appreciate that and the trust that the the coaches and the team have in me is something I appreciate a lot. That Motherwell goal was a bit special. Yeah. I like that one. And it's not even the goal that I like, it's that when that girl comes in and then just bounce off. That one was yeah. Rachel, yourself, in terms of your Celtic career, we're going to hear a little bit more about that in just a, a, a little while, but um, it's it's quite a story in terms of, you know, moving down to Nile of Lewis and, and being a Celtic fan as well. Like, just in terms of your own career in the first team, how have you kind of found your development and in, in, in time in that, in that space of time? Yeah, I've loved it. Um, ever since I came in, I've I loved every second. Um, I think I can see the progress I'm making as well. I saw it within the first few months. It was just it went through the roof. Um, and yeah, the more the more I was in with the girls, the better I was getting. Um, and I love the environment. I um, I love Fran and the way he coaches and stuff. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm getting lots of experiences with the team. Um, so yeah. It's good. Yeah, I know you're saying you're out injured at the moment and Pamela's come into the club and, and she's been playing, but she's a goalkeeper with so much experience as well, so you're learning quite a lot off of her. Yeah, no, it's incredible. Like, Pamela's CV is out of this world. Like, things I would dream of, example, playing for Barcelona. That's just ridiculous. Um, so I'm learning a lot from her every day and just seeing her train, it's been, it's been great. And she's a lovely girl as well, so it's nice just to have a little chat with her. Yeah, I know that you made your debut in 2020, but last season seemed like quite a big season for, for you and for the team as well, winning a couple of trophies. We need to kind of talk a bit about that. So talk us through how big last year was for you and, and for the team. Oh, it was huge. It was like, it was like a dream. Like, I don't think it's actually fully sunk in, yeah. like how massive it was. Like the first trophy was ridiculous. Um, I remember like the emotions and like after the game I just fell to the floor when the final whistle went and then I saw like Caitlin and Bex running running over to me and then spotting my mum in the crowd and then going and giving her a hug. Um, like there was just I've got so many memories from that day. And then when it came to the second final, it was just like we all had so much confidence, like we know we can do it again. And then we went in, the crowd was amazing, everyone was feeling really good. And then the memories that after that one was just even better than the first time, just because we'd, we'd done it under such different circumstances, like one man down, penalty, like extra time, like it was just so many things that were against us that day and we still pulled through. Um, so yeah. Good party after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that part of the reason, Lucy, why you you're like interested to come to the club, yeah. yeah. Partying, yeah. No, no, I still hear stories about when they've uh, won the cups, so yeah, I can't wait to win myself. Create, you know, yeah. Bit of history yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, well, Rachel, let's find out a little bit more about your career. As we said, you're the first person to take part in the My Game, My Word series, where every week we're going to get another member of your squad to, to come on and, and talk about their career and their journey through life. So let's take a look at Rachel's journey and how she got to where she is today. Composure. Yeah, what was the question again? So I grew up in the Isle of Lewis. Life on the island is, it's, it's good. Um, in school, it's, the schools are a lot smaller, so you get a lot of one-on-one one -on -one work with the teacher. But I, I really enjoyed it up there. Something that sticks out to me is every Sunday we would go on a family walk, and um, that walk would be going to a beach. And I think that's just a very, 
like it's a big privilege to be able to just drive 30 minutes down the road and you're at a beach. I started playing football uh, when I was around five, just with the boys in my school. Um, I was the only girl that played. We're a Celtic family, so I've been dead into football from an early age. A big memory for me is going and watching Celtic, I think it was in Murrayfield, play Reykjavik in a Champions League game. And that was like a big changing point for me. I was like, that's what I want to do. I just remember as soon as that game finished, I knew I wanted a Celtic jersey. I think I was quite embarrassed at the fact that that was what my dream is. I remember I went for a walk with my mum and dad on a Sunday and I told them what I wanted to do when I was older and I said I want to be a professional footballer and my mum was like you can't do that like you need to be realistic about your life and I remember that hit me but at the same time it was the biggest motivation I could have asked for and I just worked twice as hard. There's quite a lot of stigma on the island to become a professional footballer because it's just there's no professional team up there it's all local teams um, like Sunday league type stuff so I do get my mum's point saying it was unrealistic, but I just love the game. I think that's the simplest way to put it. Like I love football and I knew I want to do this every day, nothing else. And I knew that with hard work, I could get there. I joined my local boys team when I was in first year secondary school. And I was actually started out as an outfielder, so I never even thought of being a goalkeeper. And then we didn't have a goalkeeper for our first tournament and my first tournament. So I went in and I got player of the tournament. A few months later, I got asked to start training with Lewis and Harris women's football team. I was only like 13 at that point and everyone else was in their, in their 20s and their 30s, etc. So that was a terrifying moment. And then I started training regularly with them while continuing to play with my local team. But my local team was, it was bad. Like it was kind of just a girls team in a boys league. But I still loved it to be fair. I got called up to the Scotland 16s while I was still with Lewis and Harris while everyone else was with the Rangers Celtic. I made my first cap against Poland for the Scotland 16s at just 14. I got told that there was interest from Celtic and that was a no-brainer. Like I, I'll always remember <laughs> I was on a walk with my mum and we got a phone call from Ewan and he was like, I've just got an email saying Celtic are interested in you. <laughs> We both just burst out crying because it's like if that's a team you've supported your whole life so it was just such a proud moment. So then a month later I went down and I had a few training sessions with the girls in a game and I got signed. <laughs> yeah, which was which is just mental. I just remember the pride of even my uncle picking me up off the off the plane to take me to train and then he stood and he watched and he took tons of photos of me in a Celtic top. I had to balance school obviously with um, football and um, the girls were training during the week and um, so I had to do my training up on the island with Lewis and Harris and still my local boys team and then I would fly down after school on a Friday and then train Friday night and then train Saturday morning and then also play on a Sunday and then get the first flight up on the Monday back to school. After lockdown, um, Fran called me up into the first team and then it's, I moved down and everything I think happened so quickly after lockdown and it was just one thing after another. So it's crazy just to even think about it, how, how quickly it happened from moving down to training with the first team, getting my own number, getting my name on the back of a shirt was ridiculous seeing that. Um, shirt sure, in Broadwood when we played Glasgow City in the first game of the season like it was I could have cried in terms of the next generation especially up on the island like I want it to be more I want it to be easier for young girls and, and boys and anyone that's talented and and has a dream that they can do that and not have to be like restricted by the fact that they live on an island as a child I never thought this would have been possible. Like I always had that dream, but you never think that it's actually achievable until you're there doing it. I feel like I haven't taken a moment to take it all in, like it's all just happening. It's, it is emotional when I think about it. Yeah, well, Rachel, as we said earlier, it's a really amazing story in terms of you coming down from Lewis and, and being a, a Celtic fan as well. But when you actually get that opportunity to sit and go through it all again, how, how was it for you? It was really emotional, it was really emotional. Um, like I felt myself tearing up uh, near the end because just when I think about like 
the impact my mum and my dad and my family have all had on me. Like it's just, yeah, it's it's mental when you sit down and just think about it. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's plenty more to come, I'm sure. Um, when we knew that you were both coming on, we we put out some feelers to get some some questions from fans to to put to the both of you. So I've got a couple here. Um, Rachel, the first one is for you, and this is from at Callan Kerr McGrain who is saying, I'd imagine city life is, is very different to island life. How did you find settling into to city in Glasgow? What helped and how often do you get to go back home? Um, I really like the city. Um, I mean, I love the island, but I've, I used to come down to Edinburgh and Glasgow like in the summer uh, for a holiday, so I, I was kind of used to it. Um, I have to say, Caitlin did help me settle in a lot um, in the team. Like She was kind of like my sister throughout the whole thing. So... Um, yeah, I don't know what I would have done without her. Um, and get to go home every Christmas and at the end of season as well, with maybe the exception of like if we have a couple of days off. Yeah, nice. Um, Lucy, well, this one's for you, and I love this Twitter handle at Kimchi One Schneider. <laughs> um, how does the how does the style of football in Scotland compare to England in your experience? Um, it's so much more aggressive. Like yeah. people are like heading the ball and like are wanting to head the ball, whereas like down south it's like, like <laughs> going like that. Whereas like Caitlin and Craigie and Kelly are just like smacking their heads on that ball, which I find <laughs> insane. Um, there's a lot of like rivalry, I guess, between everything. Um, every fifty fifty is like a battle. Um, so I think it's just you. I feel like you don't know if you're gonna get injured or not each game. So I guess that's a bit of a difference. <laughs> Uh, I also got some of your teammates to send in some questions as well. Um, I've got a couple here. Actually, I've got one for each year from this person, but I want you to guess who, who the, the player is that, that said this. So, Rachel, this one is, how many times you fall over in a week? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite clumsy. <laughs> um, yeah, quite a lot. Don't think I could put a number on it. <laughs> right, okay. And uh, let's see this person has asked, how many times have you crossed a ball in the air this season? Um, a few times. <laughs> yeah, just a few. Any guesses that I might have been? Uh, Fran. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, jazz. Yeah, that could have been a few people to be fair. It was Amy. Amy was it? Was it? Yeah. Amy G. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> right then. I yes. wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so this one is for, this one's for the both of you. Um, and this one's from Lisa who says, who in the team has the worst Crocs? Uh, Is this a thing? Do you all wear Crocs or something? No, no? there's a select group. Any of you two? Um, yeah, I, both but mine are like dead boring. I don't have any of these gibbets and they all like have loads of them. Yeah, right, okay. my Crocs are like fully <laughs> kitted out with gibbets. Um, <laughs> I'd say Caitlin's. Has like the she, worst? Yeah, like she has a lot. She probably has about six pairs of Crocs, but there's some like funky tie-dye ones, which I'm a bit... Mm. Don't know. Okay. Yeah, Caitlin's are the worst, but she is trying to get a sponsorship. So, like, if we can, like, from yeah. Crocs, from Crocs, yeah. Okay, so, from Crocs, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're listening, <laughs> uh, Chloe asked for both of you if you were to both swap positions on the pitch, who would have a better game? Me, hundred <laughs> percent. You all right? <laughs> so you'd have a better game in goal yeah. than I would in You bouncing midfield. up and down the wing. Yeah, you can't do gack on. <laughs> 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 Do you think you'd be good, decent in goals? No. Yeah, I think I'd be all right. Have you tried it before? No, I'd be terrified. <laughs> but I think, I don't know. I'm hurt by that comment. I think it's just going off the well, goal. Well, surely you probably play more football outfield. No. Yeah, no, I have. Like, because I've been out injured with my wrist, so I've been, like, training with the outfielders, so I quite yeah. fancy Maybe that's so when you come back, actually, yeah, yeah. you could... I yeah. quite fancy myself. Maybe you could cross the ball on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> seeing as I can't. <laughs> uh, Clarissa asked, Lucy, why are you always late to breakfast? I'm not late, I'm always on time. It's what when I go and sneak off after breakfast, I think she's um... Right, okay. She also wants to know if uh, or Jacinta said um she wants to know if you actually like her. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> no I, don't. I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and last one, uh, Rachel, this is for you. Um yeah, she's asking the same what's your favourite pair of shoes? And if it's Crocs, who got you wearing them? Um Crocs are probably my favourite, and yeah. Caitlin got me wearing them. Yeah. Caitlin got everyone wearing them. Too. Right, okay. She, she's like the kind of... Yeah. She's like a trendsetter. She's, she's the gang leader, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Um, so, finally, what we always do is when we've got guests on, we do like a quick 60-second 
quiz, um, which are kind of the quiz will be maybe about stuff about your own career, about your teammates, different things like that. So at the moment, the top score is Carter Vickers got eight, Taylor was on it and she got seven as well. So maybe if you, I mean, if you get beat hard, you might go level with Carter Vickers, you might go in front as well. Um, so who wants to go first? Go on. You want to go first? Right, okay. I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. I've only got 13 questions, so don't go, don't go above that. <laughs> what the both of you, no one's ever went past 10, so. Okay. Right, you ready? Yeah. Right, three, two, one. You made your Celtic debut against which team? <laughs> Good start. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I thought that'd be an easy one to begin. Uh, Hibs. No, Rangers. Uh, which other player on the team also played for Man City at youth level? Uh, Caitlin. Yep. Uh, name a current men's player who also played for Man City. Uh, Joe Hart. Yep. Uh, Clarissa joined Celtic from a club from which Iceland. country? Iceland. Yep. How many goals did the team score in the league this season? 27, 32 or 37? 37. No, 32. Uh, how many goals did the team conceded in the league this year? Zero. Yep. Uh, where did your previous team, Lewis, finish in the English Championship last season? Eighth. Yep. Which team got relegated from the Championship last season? Watford. Yep. Uh, who scored Celtic's first league goal this season? Jazz. Yep. And name one of the English Premier League clubs Fernando Alonso worked at? Lewis. Southampton. Mm, I take your first, I take your first answer. <laughs> I take your first answer. Seven. So you match Taylor. That was good. Though. Right, the first one. My first league game was. I didn't his. say league. I just said who do you make yourself at debut against? And the Rangers game was a competitive game, wasn't yeah. it? So... Oh, what a scam! <laughs> <laughs> right, Rachel, you ready? Yeah. Think you can beat that? What you beat <sighs> it now? Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. Three, two, one. You made your debut against which team? Motherwell. Yep. The first Celtic game you attended was against Reykjavik at Murrayfield. Name one goal scorer in that game. James Forrest. No. Uh, you have how many caps for Scotland under 19s? Under 19s? Um, four. No, five. Uh, Pamela reached the Champions League final with which club? Barcelona. Yep. Uh, Lucy studied in the US, in which US state? Texas. Yes. <laughs> uh, who scored the winning goal in last season's Scottish Cup final? Um, Shenny. No. Is he? Oh my God. Uh, who scored the winning goal in last season's League Cup final? Caitlin. Yeah. Uh, which club did Lisa Robertson start her career? Um, Hibs. Yep. The women's first Champions League game was against which team? Um, Levante. Yep. Uh, you kept how many clean sheets in the league in your debut season in the first team? Seven. Yep. How many goals has Clarissa scored this season? Nine. 10. Oh. Oh, bang on time. Both got seven. Oh. Thank God he didn't beat me. Oh, I'm thinking, I wish I had a tiebreaker or something there that you could do, but. You Just make one up. Wait, we have to have a winner. I, I know, you do, don't you? Uh, I don't even know what I could give you here. I don't know what I could give you. Uh, I think you both have to set on seven. It's fine, it's my lucky yeah. number. I'd end up be sitting here for ages, so I don't think I could. But um, right, seven, so same with Taylor as well. So he's all he's all on level, all on level pegging. Uh, thanks very much for for joining us. Really enjoyed that, and uh, good to kind of look back through everything the women's team this season. Um, play Partick this on on Sunday in the League Cup as well. So all the best with that one, and hopefully we can defend our League Cup crown this year. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and hopefully you join us again next week on the Celtic View podcast. Mm -hmm.